Assalamu alaikum my lovely viewers hope you all are doing well and staying safe well the name butter chicken makes me drool every time it is mentioned everyone in my family just loves it today i am here to share this very delicious recipe with you let's go ahead with the recipe before we proceed with the recipe just have a look at the ingredient list you can alter the spices according to your taste You need 500 grams of boneless chicken, 70 grams of curd, add it to a bowl. One and a half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon red chili powder, one four teaspoon of black pepper powder, one tablespoon ginger garlic paste. 1 4 teaspoon garam masala powder 1 teaspoon tandoori masala half teaspoon of coriander powder that is dhania half teaspoon of cumin powder that is zeera now mix it well to give it a smooth consistency now add in the boneless chicken Give it a good mix. Squeeze in half a lemon and marinate the chicken for about half an hour. Add some butter to a pan. Now add the marinated chicken. Saute the chicken on medium flame for about 3 minutes then simmer the flame and cover and cook for about 5 to 10 minutes. As the gravy is dry now and the chicken is tender, you can saute for a minute on low flame and then transfer to a bowl. Now let's prepare the paste for the butter chicken. Before that let's have a look at the ingredient list. Take one garlic bulb and cut the crown of the bulb. Now place a garlic bulb on a piece of foil. Drizzle some olive oil on it. Sprinkle some salt. Hold it and bake for 30 minutes. Now to the same pan add some more butter and olive oil. One roughly sliced onion. You can take a big size or medium size onion. Saute for a while on low flame. Add in one big chopped tomato. Fry it for a while. Two to three green chilies and two tablespoon of cashew nuts that is kaju. Saute on medium flame for about two to three minutes. Then simmer the flame. Cover and cook for another two minutes. Now as it's done, you can transfer it to a plate and allow it to cool down. Then blend it to a fine paste in a blender. Add the paste directly to the pan or you can strain it in a strainer to give it a smooth texture. Now give it a mix to keep the flame on medium high. Add some water and saute for about 4-5 to five minutes. If needed salt to taste, 1 for teaspoon of garam masala. Now squeeze out the pulp of the baked garlic. Be careful while you do this as it's very hot. Actually it should be brown in color but as I was in a hurry I didn't wait till it turned brown. Now add it to the mixture and allow it to cook for some time. Now add in a generous amount of cooking cream. Give it a good mix. Keep stirring to give it a creamy consistency. Add in the cooked chicken. Keep mixing for another 2-3 to three minutes on medium flame. Let 
Lastly, add in one and a half tablespoon of kasuri methi. Cover and keep it on them for five minutes on simmer flame. As you see, the oil has already separated from the gravy. Then it's done. Before you serve it, top with butter, fresh cream, and garnish with chopped coriander. You can serve with garlic naan or butter naan. I just have one word: wow. Do try it out and let me know if you have enjoyed it. Please show some love by liking, sharing my videos, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you, everyone. Stay safe. Happy cooking. See you next time. Allah Hafiz.